Welcome to module three for the subject waste management. Uh, in module three, you are mainly studying about waste collection, storage, transport, and the disposal of waste. First and the foremost, I would, I would like to, in this session, I would like to discuss waste collection component. What, are, what do we mean by waste collection component? And uh, we are, what is the importance of waste collection? Okay, so th these are the points we are going to discuss in this video. As you can see, like uh, waste collection is most important. So we require like a uh, different type of vehicle. There are two types of vehicle. One is compactor vehicle, other one is non-compactor vehicle. So that will be depending on the application uh, and area, geographical area where we can adopt the particular waste collection. So definitely we have to collect the waste temporary. Sometimes we are having like a stationary uh, like a waste collection bin. That is also one part of waste collection. Uh, we have like uh, this kind of transport as you can observe, different diagrams you can observe. This is also one of the temporary storage of waste. So in this uh, session, we are going to discuss with the uh, waste collection. So first of all, what do we mean by waste collection? We'll be having a brief idea about waste collection. Uh, waste collection is a part of the waste management, of course. It is the transfer of solid waste from the point of use and the disposal to the point of treatment or landfill. Of course, it's absolutely right. So you are transferring uh, solid waste from one point to uh, use and the disposal to the point of treatment or landfill. Uh, the waste collection does not mean merely gathering of the waste. The process includes transporting the waste and the transfer station and disposal. So you may misunderstand that it is only for gathering the waste. Uh, but absolutely it is not like that. So the waste collection includes like uh, transportation, uh, then uh, dealing with the uh, transfer station at, at the like uh, disposal. These are the three important uh, segments which are comes under waste collection. So by using, by reading these three points, I think you got an idea about waste collection. I would like to continue further. So one of the most important university question, and you should have a general knowledge on that. Waste collection component. Explain waste collection component. The weightage is uh, 10 marks. So you can expect the similar kind of question in the video examination. If you are studying in another university, also no issues. This is one of the most important question for one of the like uh, topic, uh, the waste collection. What are the waste collection components? So we have the following waste collection components, collection points, collection frequency, storage containers, collection crew, collection route, transfer station. These are the major uh, waste collection components. So we'll discuss in greater details. First and foremost, I would like to talk about collection points. What do you mean by collection point? So see, the collection points are merely depending on the geographical area, the locality, and it may be like, uh, you are focusing on the residential area or are you focusing on the commercial area or industrial area that means the collection point will be purely depending on the locality so like uh, there are different type of locality like uh, residential commercial industrial etc so what are the major factors which are depending on the collection point so like uh, the crew size the crew size means uh, crew is nothing but the person or the personal operating personnel of that particular vehicle or the waste management unit is known as crew member and it depends on the size size of the storage and the amount required for the waste collection. These are the various factors which are depending on the collection points. Some places uh, will be having like a large unit of collection points because there are more number of people. Uh, some area, uh, it will be very less that you can uh, imagine. Okay. Let me continue about another factor called collection frequency. What do you mean by free collection frequency? So collection frequency is nothing but how many number of times the collection crew will be visiting in a particular area and take back the amount of waste. Are they visiting twice in a day or once in a day? Okay, that means uh, the climatic condition and the requirement of locality as well as containers cost determine the collection frequency. It depends on locality, de determine on the cost. Okay, uh, then collection uh, efficiency is largely depending on the demography. Demography is nothing but uh, it may be depending on the income, depending on the community and depending on the area, etc. There are few factors which are affecting the collection frequency, the space, storage space. The availability of the tractor, it may be like a compactor vehicle or non-compactor vehicle. Uh, and finally, the facility for sanitation. Uh, these are the major things which are depending on the collection frequency. So another one is actually called a uh, storage container. What do you mean by storage container? Like uh, the container selection uh, save the collection energy. Like uh, if you put a board like, uh, please dispose the plastic waste here. Please dispose the wet waste here. So there is a like a trash people will dispose over that. Most of the educated people, they will do. But uh, some indication you are supposed to make out. It increases the speed of collection and reduce the crew size, of course. If the people itself, uh, they are doing like a segregation, then we can reduce the number of crew size. 
the container should be functional uh, for the amount type of material and the collection vehicles used. That's true. Container should also, it must be durable, long lasting. It is easy to handle. Maybe some wheel should be there. And uh, it must be economical. It should not be burden. And uh, it is resistant, uh, resistant against corrosion. It should be free from corrosion. And the weather and the animals. Okay, animal cannot attack with that particular bin. It should be totally free from corrosion, uh, then rain, etc. It will prevent against the rain, waterfall, etc. Then what are the various factors affecting the storage containers? First one is efficiency, durability, then convenience, how to handle this, compactability, uh, is it a mobile or not? Public health, it should not uh, harmful to the public health, it should be closed. And uh, safety as well as ownership. Okay, that's these are the different factors which are depending on the uh, like uh, storage containers. Other important factor is called collection crew. What do you mean by collection crew? That means that those who are operating personnel, generally we call it as collection crew. The optimum crew size of a community depending on the labor and the equipment cost, collection methods and the root characteristics. Okay, the size of the collection crew also depending on size and type of collection vehicle used. Okay, then space between the houses, of course. Uh, the amount of waste generation, that means waste generation rate. And it depends on the collection frequency. There are few factors which are affecting the collection crew. Number one, number of stops. Okay, and the frequency of collection. Is it uh, thrice in a day or once in a day? Depends on that. Type of vehicle, are, are you using compactor vehicle or uh, non-compactor vehicle? Then uh, the cost for collection and uh, ultimately automation used. Are they doing the waste collection manually or is there any automated tool? So like any conveyors or something like that. Is there any automation? Similarly, collection route. Uh, the, what about the collection route? And uh, which uh, place the crew member has to visit first? Give the priority. Okay, give the priority. Also, the short, shortest path. The, pro the problem is like a shortest path. You need to apply the principle of transportation problem. In operations, we, will, uh, we are studying one another method called the transportation problem. Shortest path. The efficient routing of collection vehicle uh, decrease the cost of uh, like labor. Also, fuel cost also should be reduced. The cost of labor should be reduced. Similarly, proper planning of the collection route also help to conserve the energy, of course, especially fuel. Minimize the working hours. Uh, crews won't get overburdened. And vehicle fuel consumption. These are the different advantages uh, if the planning is proper. Which place they are supposed to visit first. What are the factors affecting the collection route? Number one, amount of waste collected per stop. Distance between the stops, correct. Loading time and traffic conditions. Uh, traffic is another uh, barriers. Some other barriers like uh, politics, uh, okay, like uh, uh, resistance. Those things you can say barriers. Then rail, then embarkments river crossing, roads with heavy traffic, driver judgment, experience, everything matters a lot. Because a, a crew should be like, uh, they have to take a good decision sometimes. Another one important part of uh, waste collection component is transfer station. So we have the waste generation. This is your waste generation. Let me write the WG. This is your waste disposal. I'll be putting WD. Yeah, so from the waste generation to, we cannot directly transfer the entire waste from waste generation to waste disposal because in that waste, some valuable item might be there. Also, some items are highly suitable for biofertilizer. I have to segregate it. So in between, there is a uh, place called a transfer station, TS. I'll be writing TS. This is your TS. So from the waste generation to transfer station, there will be transportation facility. Like uh, you have the uh, compact vehicle and non-compact vehicle. Here, segregation will be taken place at a transfer station. Once the segregation is done, then it will be directly moving on to disposal area. From waste generation to transfer station, from transfer station to waste disposal. I think the concept is clear to everybody. A transfer station is an intermediate station between final disposal option and a collection point in order to increase the efficiency of the system. The collection vehicle and the crew um, remain closer to the route, of course. Uh, if the disposal site is far from the collection area, it is justifiable uh, to have a transfer station. Of course, it is necessary. The transfer station serves as a pre-processing unit. It's mainly for like a, a volume reduction, size reduction, also compressing, segregation, etc. Sorting, all the things will be done in the transfer station. What are the major factors which are defect, uh, affecting on the transfer station? The driver rest time, the traffic condition, the labor cost, loading time, unloading time, everything matters a lot. Uh, before selecting the like uh, base correction system, you need to take care about the following factors. You should take care about efficiency, effectiveness, then equity, uh, the system is reliable or not, then safety and environmental impact. These are the major facts you are supposed to take care of collection system. Okay, so that's all. 
in this session we discussed about what do we mean by waste collection define waste collection later we discussed about what are the major collection components are applicable for the waste collection collection point collection frequency storage containers collection crew collection route transfer station ultimately uh, we discussed one more point that what are the major factors to be select to be selected uh, waste collection system what are the major point to be considered efficiency effectiveness equity reliability safety and environment environmental safety is important system should be reliable it should not, should not be getting de uh, degraded equity we have to consider then effectiveness how the things are uh, like uh, was it effective will it be effective or not we have to think how about the system efficiency these are the different factors so if you are watching this video first time i request you to subscribe my channel also if you pleased with this video i require pleased with this video i require i request you to share this video with your friends and colleagues and your students thank you so much for watching this video happy learning